everybody. Chris Edwards, Music Man of Steel. You may recognize me from my FaceTime with Composers videos, but today I'm going to go over Xylophone Rules with you. Number one, walk to the xylophone. If you were to run or quick walk, you could trip and fall and bump into somebody and you would get hurt. And we don't want that for you, so use your walking feet to get to the instruments. Rule number two, don't step over or in between the xylophones. Walk around them to get to the one that you want to play. If you were to step over or in between, you could kick one over and you could trip and fall and get hurt. And you know what? Your teacher loves you. But you know what else your teacher loves? They love the xylophones. If you were to knock one over because you stepped over it, you could bust it, you could break it. Your teacher loves you. Your teacher loves the xylophones. 50-50. Both. Maybe they love you more. I don't know. It's up to them. Ask your teacher. They'll tell you. Number three, when you're holding your mallets, you want to hang on to them like you're holding on to bicycle handles, like this. Have a slight angle where the mallet heads are kind of coming together, almost like a big piece of pizza. Do pinch and wrap. It's a snap. No thumbsies, no pointies. It's all in the wrists. Number four. When you play, you want to tap the bar in the middle. Don't hit the head. Don't hit the foot. Hit the tummy. Tickle the tummy. If you were to hit the head or the foot of the bar, the bar could pop off the xylophone body, and the little pegs that are holding that bar in place could snap right off, which would mean you can't use that xylophone anymore. And that would be a huge bummer. Most of your bars probably have the note name right there in the middle. Aim for the note name. And that's how you'll get the most wonderful sound. Number five, tap on the xylophone. Don't bang on it. It's going to create plenty of noise. Plus, it'll save your ears and your teacher's ears from bleeding out. Number six, when you're tapping the xylophone bars, don't hit and sit. Ugh, not a good sound. You want to hit and lift. Almost like your xylophone mallet head is jumping on a trampoline. If you hit and sit, it kind of has that really bad sound. Like when you're emptying the dishwasher and you're emptying the top rack and um, you uh, are emptying the glass from the top rack and you accidentally bump the glasses against the countertop and then your wife comes in and yells at you because you've already broken six glasses. Oh. Oh. So hit and lift. Number seven. Do not remove the bars unless your teacher tells you to. They probably have them set up exactly how they want them to be for the class today. However, if your teacher gives you permission to take the bars off, remember this little rhyme. Hand on top, hand below, lift straight up, and there you go. And that's how you can safely take the xylophone bars off of the body of the xylophone. And when it's time to put them back on, think like this. Hand on top, hand below, push straight down, and there you go. That's the safest way to remove and replace the xylophone bars. Number eight, remember, the xylophones are expensive instruments. Take good care of them. Like I mentioned before, count yourself lucky that your school has these. Just take good care of them, treat them right, make beautiful music. Can you think of any other rules to add? Tell your teacher, drop them in the comments section below. I would love to hear them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips, tricks, vlogs, and guitar tutorials. Well, that's all for me. I hope you have fun playing the xylophones today. Music Man of Steel signing out. Stay musical, everyone.